Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP New Zealand and what to expect from the market this week. If you're just coming across our videos, you're just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day. Letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Now it's been a while we did our analysis on GBP New Zealand because I think it was somewhere here when we did our last analysis we were expecting the market to go bullish up to this extent but it didn't. You can see this is a daily time frame and the market has been ranging um, from about from here to this region that's um that's up to four months now that's four months now so you can see that's been a pretty long time so the market has just been ranging and if you've been following our channel you remember i used to say this that whenever the market ranges within a particular region for a long time you should expect um possibility of breakout so it finally did break out here and the market sold down to this region so let's start the analysis on the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame you can see here that this region has been a strong support region for um quite a while that was since 2020 so this has been a strong support region and you can see each time the market sell down here it starts buying again then within this month the market has gotten to that same region you can see it here so let's also see um the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame after the market sold down here of course this was quite a huge sell it sold down here and the open of last week it started buying immediately and it bought up to this point so the market ended as a bullish arami on the weekly time frame then on the daily time frame you can also see the market sold down to this region and afterwards it started buying then um on wednesday the tender simple moving average crossover the candlestick here on the daily time frame which is a bullish entry trigger then the next candle did sell retesting this region then on friday the market ended as a tweezer bottom let's also see the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame you can see um the huge sell and when the market got here it started buying again and it bought to this point then pull back and um ended as a small bullish candle so what do we expect from the market this week that's what this video is about firstly on the four hours time frame we can see here we have a bullish engulfing bar which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern secondly we have the 10 day simple moving average crossing over the candlestick here which is a bullish entry trigger then thirdly we can see that the market has started making higher highs and higher low which is a sign of an uptrend that's number three then um the daily time frame on the daily time frame we can see the market sold down to this region then started buying then here we had the tender simple moving average crossing over the candlestick which is a bullish entry trigger that's number four and number five we have the market closing as a tweezer bottom which is also a bullish reversal candlestick pattern let's also see if there's anything we can consider on the weekly time frame okay on the weekly time frame which is sixth factor um we have the market close as a bullish arami so putting these six factors together we can safely say that the market will go bullish this week you see that we're expecting the market to go bullish this week and um, this will be our tp of course the 
resistance region while it was raining. This is going to be our CP. This is how far we're expecting the markets to go this week. Now, when this is achieved, this possibility that it will pull back, that possibility is very high. This possibility that it will pull back, then continue buying. But for now, this is what we are going to target. This is what we'll be trading. We're going to trade what the market is presenting to us right now. Even though in the long term, we see the possibility of GBP New Zealand getting to this red horizontal line. But for now, let's keep it here. Let's keep it here. So that's um, what we're expecting from the market this week. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't want to venture into trading if you don't have proper knowledge. Take the training before you start trading. That's going to be safe and reasonable for you to do. So if you want to register for our Complete Forex training, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can register for our Complete Forex training. We'll give beginners to advanced classes, ebooks, and lifetime mentorship. And if you want to subscribe for our Signal service, you're going to see a Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service where we we'll give proper entry, stop loss, and take profit. Then, if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without CS, also check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get this short copy. If you want the hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us your location. We'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.